the blog, the blog, the blog, bloggy, 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 said the blog, said I'm just the blog. So my buddy Maurice Claret from your Ohio State Buckeyes is in the house. You know, former national champ, number 13. Man, always glad to stop by. Full of laughs, full of uh, good energy every time I stop by in the morning. Dude, look at that shirt, man. Where can people <laughs> buy that shirt at, dude? Well, you can go to Maurice Claret online and buy the shirt if you care to. Uh, it's a lot of the products on there, so go check it out. This Saturday, I have a home giveaway uh, to a woman transitioning from a halfway house, uh, giving the lady a helping hand up, uh, letting her stay inside of the home for six months free uh, while she gets on her feet, get clean from drugs, uh, interacts with the program that she's had already, uh, and just basically helping to give her a hand up in life. You know, say like somebody gave me in the past, but uh, it'll be this Saturday at 1 p.m. I'm not sure of the neighborhood again, uh, in, in, the, in the Linden area. Uh, you know, be sure if you're in the London area, stop by. Uh, but to Saturday would be good to hit. Razor. Yes. Maurice just did Helium Theater. What, I know, what do you it was think? Awesome. It was awesome. <laughs> I think you're awesome too, man. You're not, you're you not lightheaded, better. right? No. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't want to screw things up, man. Maurice Claret, ladies and gentlemen, on the vlog. You uh, you are always around town, man. People see you. Uh, now, what, what is it like these days, like when people come up, man? Are, you know, is, is it like the old times? I mean, people coming up, like, uh, still in droves? I, I can only imagine. It's cool because um, uh, every since the 30 for 30 comes out, everything is about life uh, more than football. Right. You know, and, uh, it's cool to talk about life. It's cool to... Uh, uh, to offer advice on how I uh, overcame certain situations or my mentality in you know, certain circumstances. Uh, you know, people ask for advice on how you, I'm going to say how you raise the kids, but what should they do with the teenage boys? Right, uh, right. Guys who happen to be going through it uh, in adverse situations as adults. You know, how did you do it? How do you stick through it? How do you have so much discipline? How do you stay on the right track? How do you stay on the right road? Uh, and answering those questions, man, and, uh, and just being looked at more as a leader rather than a guy who wore a helmet in a jersey. And even though uh, that does, that's just part of what I did, uh, it's even more gratifying now uh, to be looked at more as a human being and the guy who leads in the community yeah. uh, rather than the guy who uh, ran down the football field. Even though that's cool. But, that is uh, pretty yeah. cool. Well, it's got to be nuts because, you know, for years, I'm sure, especially, uh, you know, as you were getting into your latter part of the high school years, you know, when you were just blowing up before Ohio State even, you had to think at some point, like, you never could imagine that you were going to be famous for the life that you lived and the story that you could tell more than the athletics. Yeah, I could have never, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, I could have never imagined it. Uh, and, and I'm not just sure. It, it was something bigger than me. I always said it, something bigger than me. Uh, God has something different for me. Uh, and that's how things unravel. You know, uh, if I could have thought better in every situation, I would have. You know what I'm saying? But I didn't. Sure. So, uh, and, and things played out, but everything I've learned throughout my bad times, throughout prison, throughout struggling, throughout going through addiction, alcoholism, and pills, and weed, and all that stuff, yeah. uh, throughout that, all those things assist me in moving forward, and they assist me in helping other people. Uh, and it's just how kind of things worked out. You know, I, I, maybe I had to give up football to leave the life to a bit right now, but I love that. I'm totally cool with it. Yeah. Look at this. I just love how you turned all the negative into, like, your armor. You yeah. know what I mean? Like, that's your <laughs> armor, bro. Yeah. 19-year-old Hayden just just wrote in at 53299. You can text the show. I really hope my mom will be able to talk with Maurice after she finishes her time. Wow. How, he's 19. Mom. You know, I mean, that's a kid's feel. Yeah. You know, I, I, yeah. I'd much rather be talking about that. I'd much rather provoke that thought. And uh, even a 19-year-old kid, and, and how can he help his mother? How can he be supportive towards her? Um, you need to grow up and be a man yeah, a lot quicker. Yeah, you got to grow up and be a man. And, uh, and, and even in that, you know, th this portion of his life, this will develop him more uh, with him being more independent, him being more supportive, supportive, him being more compassionate and empathetic towards her situation. So, you know, it's all good. You know, it's all good. And I can only hope that, you know, she makes it through uh, sooner rather than later. Ladies and gentlemen, Maurice Claret, number 13 in the house, national champion. What's the website they can go to to check you out, man? Uh, Maurice Claret Online pretty much has everything. Uh, if I can't mention, uh, I'm, I'm doing a Beyonce and Jay-Z raffle. Yeah, 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 yeah. What's up with that? Uh, I have two fifth row tickets to the Beyonce and Jay-Z concert. The tickets are valued at uh, $1,500. <clears throat> Excuse me. I'm doing a raffle to help me complete my uh, youth facility back in Youngstown, Ohio. Uh, you back home. Go, That's yeah, cool, man. Yeah, back home. You can go to Maurice Claret Online and click on the... Uh, TCP tab and uh, donate ten dollars and you'll receive a ticket. And, uh, and, and I also have a campus Cypress uh, Wesleyan on July eighth, ninth, and tenth. You can go to cypress.tv and uh, register your child. 
That's awesome, man. It's always great to have you in. It's good to see you. Maurice Claret, ladies and gentlemen. There he is. I know you took one last phone call. I just have to give you one last text. Sandy wrote in, love your show. My friends and I met you last night at Yabos. We had a blast. I'm the lady with all the kids playing Golden Tea. I love how much you support Maurice and his efforts to turn a negative into a positive. Thank you, Sandy and Powell. Yeah, we can eat Yabos, bro. You like that? Oh, my gosh. Too, and bring Jane. Yeah, it's delicious. Yeah, it's Loper and Randy in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> hey, so before Maurice gets out of here, I wanted to tell you guys, you know, the Loper and Randy t-shirts have been sponsored by Swollen Knuckles for a long time, but we love Swollen Knuckles, but we got a new sponsor, Our House is Ohio, man, it's your latest project, dude, ourhouseisohio.com, kind of explain to people what that is. Our House is Ohio is a company myself and uh, Tony, Tony Ramos started, uh, it's basically a charitable way of giving back to people, each month we choose a different charity that we would like to give, uh, 10% of uh, the funds that we raised through selling t-shirts and other things that we plan to have on our site. Uh, just to kind of pick a charity that uh, is doing good in Ohio, give back 10% of what we have, help them support what they're doing, uh, continuously moving forward like that. We'll have uh, different camps, through weightlifting camps and training camps and uh, football clinics and hopefully in the basketball season come we'll have basketball clinics free for underprivileged kids uh, and everybody like that. But it was something I did that me and Tony Rainbow started uh, just kind of to help to give back to the whole state of Ohio. Uh, Tony's my guy. Guy. He's been my guy probably for the last year or so. Uh, great heart, great spirit. And he was basically just looking for, uh, looking for, uh, I said avenue, looking for an avenue basically get back into the community. And it was just something that we came up with. So I'm supporting him. He was supporting me. He said, let's get together and do it. And that's what we're doing now. Also, one of the strongest guys at 170 pounds, too. Yeah. <laughs> West Side Barbell, bro. Come on. Our house is Ohio. O H I O. Get it? Go check it out. <laughs> Watch Loper and Randy's vlog! Dog to the block, the block, the block, doggy, 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 set the block, set up, jump the block, dog to the block, the block, the block, doggy, 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 set the block, set up.